Okay, again, good afternoon. So let's continue with the butterfly chart. Uh, if you started with this video, please go back to the first video, per, uh, first video, uh, the advanced Excel lesson 3B uh, advanced charts part one. Okay, so this is already the part two. So let me share to you again my Excel file. Okay, so this is our Excel file. So again, the first video's uh, result is for me to uh, to show you or to uh, to to discuss to you how do we uh, transform the original data. So again, this is the original data. It was given on the task. It will be given on the task, or if you will apply this on your own work, this is a, uh, or these are the respondents who answered yes on the, this question, and the other one is the no. So you have two columns, okay? So from that, you will transform that uh, table, okay, to this kind of table. Okay, then all of uh, the next is you just need to make the table. So I'm going to stop this and show you again the steps from the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is our... Okay, so insert a 100 stack bar chart and put the labels. So what labels do we have? Uh, the labels will be here. The first vertical axis, so since when you insert a 100 stack chart here, okay, it's 100 uh, stack bar chart, the question numbers will be from 10 to 1. So you will just reverse it. We will reverse it later on. Delete legend and label in vertical axis. Uh, delete 100 minus yes and 100 minus no. Delete the bars. So we're talking about the bars. We're not actually deleting it verbally. So, uh, verbatim. So as I said, we don't take this instruction word for, for word. So you have to remember what I was uh, saying here. Then change the field colors. Okay, we will change the field colors here. Okay, this is the default colors. So we have to change it. So I'm going to go back to that Excel file. Okay, so what you're going to do is to highlight the whole and then insert. So as I said, or as we read already in the uh, instruction, you will go for a bar, vert, uh, yeah, uh, horizontal is the bar, column is vertical. Then you have to insert a stack bar, which is 100%. Uh, so other other bars here are not present, or the, the the stack bar here is not 100 percent this one is the 100 percent the third one so if you cannot see this in your video so insert a bar or column then 2d column 3d column the next is 2d bar then first choice is clustered bar second choice is stack bar then to the right the last choice there is 100 percent stack bar okay so click that one so you've seen this in our powerpoint this is what we're going to do so the first thing is that i'm going to remove some of this which is not needed but before that let me just reverse first the question numbers so this is 10 to 1. you can leave it like this if you are doing it uh, now but for the task that i'm doing i want this question 1 to 10. but if in the future you want to do this then it doesn't matter if it is 10 to 1 or 1 to 10 but i think uh, when you're presenting any uh data to to an audience you start with question number one so click this and then double click okay okay then you will have a format axis um, viewing pane here Okay, so when you click on the chart, you can have the chart tools and then you have the design tab and the format tab. Okay. So when you click on this, this is the axis. This is actually the vertical axis. Okay, again, I will repeat. 
click on the table and then you have chart tools design for and format that okay so it's either uh, the first thing is you click on this question numbers do not click on one item click uh, on the space okay then you will have format access then you have access options here you will go for access oh, sorry this is size and properties you can see and this is access options click that one okay okay so once you go for the access options you have to look for this and then categories in reverse order okay so that's it for reversing and then again let's remove some of this I'm going to change the chart, chart title to poll results. I'm going to remove the legend and this 0 to 60. We don't need that. The question numbers and the grid lines. The grid lines are here. Okay, so let me just close this. How do we remove it? On the plus sign, when you click on the chart, you remove the axis you remove the grid lines and the legend, okay? So you're left with chart title. Okay, now this is now the trick. So again, we also have been told to delete this and this. So, but actually it's not going to be delete. We will delete the bar, but we will just actually have, at use, have to use a trick on this. So when you double click on one bar or yeah, you can select on any bar, you are selecting one, but you have to select all. So select only one time, just click, okay? And then on the format tab, just change the shape field here, okay? To no fill, okay? You have to change also the shape outline to no outline so that nothing okay there is a bar there but it's just invisible okay so you have to make this invisible same as in the left side this is the 1000 minus yes the other one that just we just did is 1000 minus no so shape fill no fill and then shape outline no outline okay so I'm going to uh, finalize this video for the butterfly chart. So for the gap, again, also we don't need a fill here. So again, shape, no fill, and shape, no outline. Okay, so this is now your butterfly chart. Now we need to change the color. The, the example that I gave you, this is red. Instead of no fill, you have to choose red. Okay? Now click this. Instead of no fill, you have to choose green. So I have already the uh, Oman colors. Red, white, and green. Okay. Now, for this, you have to put the label. Okay? Or Put the label so how do we do that i'll just close this uh, viewing frame again okay when i click here so i have to show this by clicking the chart elements and if i click there and uh, i have to go for the data labels okay so when you click on the data labels and then you click on this triangle by default it will be on the center okay so again, I'll click on this and I'll click on data label and by default, I have, it in the I have it in the center. So now for the question, if I click this data label, you can see that this is a value. Okay, so what I will do here is that I want a question number. So I'll need to click this one, the triangle from the data labels and more options. Now, from the more options, I can now show the category name because the question numbers is the category name. So I just need to click this, okay? I need to remove now the value and I, read, I need to remove the show header lines, leader, leader lines.
So I have to uh, keep only category name. But before that, okay, when you click it, you're showing this only, 350, the, the value. Okay, before you remove it, you have to put first the category name because you will be lost. So anyway, you can try that and you will have uh, that error. So first click the or tick the category name or check the category name before you remove the value and the show leader line. Okay, so I will now finalize this chart. So this is now the final result or the final output for our butterfly chart. So I'll catch you on the next video uh, for the rest of this uh, advanced charts lessons. Bye.